Hello there, my wrist-free warriors. This is another flowing side-to-side -side practice, a mandala flow. This flow is specifically designed to help improve the strength in the legs, but also improve the sense of strength and balance in mind and heart. If you've been feeling a little bit anxious or low on confidence lately, this flow is themed around helping to build that confidence and helping to settle or ease anxiety. If that sounds good, let's get flowing in a nice, strong and sweaty way. <laughs> So beautiful soul, for this practice, I'd recommend having your mat horizontal facing me. As I mentioned, we're gonna flow from side to side a little bit. So if you need to pause the video for a sec and change your mat, do that now. Otherwise, let's begin. So come to stand right in the middle of your mat, feet about as wide as your shoulders, and let's just rest the arms down beside the body. Imagine for a moment your whole spine lengthening upwards and let's take a deep breath in together. Big breath out through your mouth. And again, anything that's troubling you or weighing heavy on your heart, imagine you could exhale a bit of that. And just a little bit more. Exhaling the stress, the anxiety. And inhaling a sense of calm, peaceful strength. Okay, let's breathe calmly through the nose now. Mouth gently closes. Follow my arms. We're going to breathe in, cross the wrists. Take a big circle, lift your chest. And breathe out, soften the knees. As you inhale, really opening a sense of strength and confidence in the posture. We can use big open shapes to help us feel a little bit more grounded, more confident and steady. Body language experts call it power posturing and it really works, even if you're not quite feeling it yet. Let's take one more big breath. Inhaling. Exhaling hands down. We're going to step the feet a little bit wider than the shoulders now and follow my arms. Bend the knees a little. Can you drift the arms over to your right? I'm going to mirror you. Send the arms over to the left. Let's do this a few times. Maybe inhaling, exhaling, and inhaling. It feels good, start to bend the knees a little bit in the middle. We're gonna warm up the knees, the hips, the ankles. These flowing side to side mandala movements. And we're gonna build on this in the practice. For now, cultivating breath and a sense of presence in your body. Once more to your left. Then as you come to center, step the feet hip distance apart. Could you inhale, reach the arms towards me, bend the knees, hips come back. Great, let's do it again. Coming up, exhale, chair pose. Deep inhale. Three more times. Maybe go a little bit lower if it's feeling good. Balancing strength and a sense of grace or lightness. You feel heat building already? <laughs> yeah. Let's take one more. And as you come to center, listen closely. Your right foot, step it out to the side into a baby warrior two position. Back toes turn in. Front leg is gonna straighten. Back knee is gonna bend a little bit. And let's rock forwards and back between the feet. We're doing some unconventional or unusual movements that I learned from Qigong first, and then we're gonna weave it into vinyasa wrist-free flow. Follow my hands. As you sit back, bend the back knee, palms in front of you, and now gently push with the hands, bend the front knee. Hands ripple back, push. 
The arms are like waves, like you could push waves and ripple back. This is a great way to rehab your wrists and anything that's going on in the fingers. Let's take two more. And now from here, hands come back, change the feet, slowly pivot, check your back toes are turned in, back knee bends, and rocking into the left leg, the front one. When you've got the hang of this, let's add in the arms. Pressing through the center of the palm, exhale, inhale back, exhale. And you sense strength building in your legs, and the energy rising, getting stronger, pushing waves, a futile endeavor. And then let's come back to center feet as wide as your shoulders. Cross the wrists. This is called separating clouds. One more time, knees bend. This time as the arms come down, take the arms over to the left. Turn the opposite toes out, take the arms over to the right. Find that baby awari two stance, pushing waves. I know that transition's a bit complicated. We'll do it a couple times so you start to get the hang of it. One more and then coming back into center, across the wrists, two times. Arms over to your right, turn the left toes out, arms forwards, back toes turn in, pushing waves. And don't worry if it feels a little bit um, not quite coordinated yet. We'll go one more time each side. As you come to center, turn the foot in. Separating clouds just once. Arms move to your left. Toes turn. Turn the back heel in, pushing waves three times. You've got it. It's getting better. I know it is. Sense of strength and elegance and coordination grows. <laughs> Come back to center. Separate clouds. From here, arms swinging to your right. Turn the feet, baby warrior two, pushing waves three or four times. Everything feeling warmer? I am. Okay, as you come back to center, separating clouds, we're gonna build on this sequence just once. Arms swinging to your left, turn the toes. Stepping into the feet, pushing waves a couple times. This time we're going to step the back foot further back, warrior two, lengthen your stance. Take a moment to check your heels are on one line pretty much. We're going to flow as you breathe in, reverse warrior. As you breathe out, hand reaching towards the horizon. <laughs> this time adding in the back arm. If you're a regular wrist-free warrior, you will know this flow by now, reaching for the sun. And then this time, as you reach for the sun, imagine you could grab hold of the sun and bend the knees, carry it to the other side of the mat. Warrior two. Get ready to reverse. Feel the back leg really strong and straight. Arms flowing like a seaweed, maybe. Well rooted, but blowing around. We're gonna reach for the sun. Bend the knees, go deep through the hips. Travel to the front or the right side of the mat, as it were. Warrior two. From here, the front foot turns in. Listen closely. Turn your heels in. Bend your knees, separate clouds. Two more times. Toasty, toasty. One more time, keep the spine upright, that's it. Fingers fall down like little raindrops around you, wiggle the feet in. Let's take a breath to take the arms out, inhaling. Exhale, palms together in prayer at the heart. Second side, separate class. Hands come down, arms going to your right. Pushing waves, turn the feet, baby warrior two stance.
Keep the breath calm and slow and deep. Stepping now into a longer warrior two. Give yourself a sec. And then let's reverse, breathe in. Both arms reaching for the sun. Two more times. Check your front knee is staying really steady above your ankle, top tip. Keep it really steady. And now, maybe going lower this time, maybe skimming the hands across the floor even. Warrior two opening out, reversing into the flow. Arms reaching forward. Like a seaweed. Wakami arms. <laughs> and we're going to carry that sun all the way across again, going low. Warrior two. Back into center, toes turn in, heels turn in, deep squat three times. If you're feeling extra glamorous today, this time maybe lift the heels off the floor as you come up. Not easy. <laughs> One more time. Wobble, wobble. Hands come down. Wiggle the feet in a little bit. Inhale, arms out. We're going to take a pause. Palms come into prayer at the center of the heart. Take a moment to breathe here. How are you doing? See if the shoulders could soften. Connect into your breath. And we're going to build on this sequence. Feet as wide as your shoulders. Separate clouds. This time we're going to fold all the way down to the ground. You can bend your knees, fingertips brush the floor. Can you gently sway your fingers over to the right? Knees bent, sway your fingers over to the left. One more time, each side, make sure your back feels happy. And then coming back into center, chair pose, hips down, arms forwards in front of you. Option one, breathe, here we're gonna hold. Option two, lift those heels. <laughs> Option three, arms by the ears, drop the hips. Four, this is where the sequence starts to get stronger. Three, two, dig deep into your strength. One, mountain pose. Same sequence, separate clouds. Hands coming down, arms to your left. Stepping into pushing waves, turn the feet three times. Back toes turned in a bit. And now warrior two, nice long stance. From here reversing, reaching for the sun. This time as you reverse, let's straighten the front leg, pause and breathe here. Really reach that top arm behind you. Take your palm is facing the ground. And triangle pose, inhale forwards. Exhale, hands coming to rest somewhere on the leg. It could be the thigh, it could be the shin. If you're really bendy, maybe even catching hold of the big toe. I'm going shin today. And now slowly can you circle that top arm. If it feels good, take the hand a little bit lower, brush the ground. One more time. Warrior two coming up into it. Let's reverse. From here, right elbow rests above the right knee, left arm like an arrow by the ear. Option one, breathe here. Option two, take the back foot an inch further away, get a little lower. You're making a long line in the side of the body, side angle pose. Option three, if it feels okay in your hand, maybe even bringing the fingertips onto the floor in that right hand. No weight in the hand, but turning the chest to look up at the sky. Three, two, one. Warrior two coming back up. Listen closely. High lunge. Hips square forwards. And then can you open your arms to your right? So you might not be able to see me for a sec. Take a sneak peek and then open the arms to the right. We're going to breathe here. Check your front knee is above your front ankle. And then come back into center. High lunge. Two more times, open the arms to your right. Inhale, center. Last one. And from here, arms up by the ears. Option one, breathe here. 
Option two, bring the right fingertips down to the floor very gently, almost no weight in the wrist, left arm to the sky. If this doesn't feel good in the fingers or the wrist, come back up, three, two, rotate, one, all the way back up, warrior two, Ooh, reverse breath in, reach for the sun, carry it to the center, now we're going to come up through the middle, turn the heels in, and <laughs> separate clouds, up onto the toes just once, lower the heels, wiggle the feet in, take a moment to inhale, Exhale, palms at the heart, mountain pose, breathe here. Like me, maybe adjust your clothing. <laughs> and release the hands, second side, separating clouds. Hands are gonna move to the right. Turn the left toes out, turn the back heel out, push waves. Still with the breath calm and measured through the nose. Get ready for warrior two. Bigger step back, opening out. Keep that front knee nice and strong. Reverse. Reaching for the sun. This time as you reverse straight in the front leg, we're going to pause and hold, breathe here. I'm supporting myself with my back hand on my thigh. If that doesn't feel so good in the wrist, just don't go back as far. Yeah. And then triangle pose. In triangle, the front knee can totally be bent, but we're working to get the leg straighter if possible. You can breathe and reach forwards. Hands coming down. And it'll be better to have the leg straighter and be higher up like this than bent and really low. We want to get that hamstring stretched. So working to lengthen the leg, even if you're a little bit taller. Three. Two. One, warrior two. Reversing in the flow. Elbow coming to rest just above the knee. Top arm by the ear, which should be your right one, I think. Maybe option two, you take it a little bit longer. Top arm is like an arrow, it's really strong and straight. Option three, left fingertips to the floor, mindful of the wrist. Either way, three more breaths. Two, you got it. One, warrior two, coming back up. High lunge, square the pelvis to the short edge of the mat. And then open the arms to your left. We'll inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. If you squeeze your glutes, squeeze your butt cheeks, it's gonna help you stay steady. Last one. And then all the way around, warrior two, Ooh, reverse. Reach for the sun. Carry into the middle. Get ready to rise, heels turn in. Cross the wrists. Heels lift, gently all the way down. Fingers like raindrops. And let's bring the feet in. Inhale to mountain pose. Exhale, palms together. Just take a few settling breaths here. You could close the eyes if it feels good. And sense how you're feeling. If there's any residue of anxiousness or worry or stress, we're gonna get rid of it with a big exhale now. So inhale, get ready to release what you don't need. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Two more times. You can go a bit wild with this lion's breath, like you're roaring. <sighs> Permission to feel a bit silly. Breathe in, get rid of what you don't need. <sighs> okay, let's release. From here, take the feet wider than your shoulders, turn the toes in, inhale, hands onto the hips. We're going to fold forwards and breathe. Exhale, you could bring the fingertips to the floor if that feels good. If you're very bendy, you could even catch the outsides of the ankles and 
Keep the legs long and the spine feeling long. Forward fold. In this posture, it's really helpful to press into the outside edges of the feet. Legs feeling really strong. Reaching your chest forwards and then down. Two more breaths. Okay, slowly coming up. From here, wiggle the feet a little closer. <laughs> Separating clouds, same sequence, a few new things. Hands come down. Take the arms over to the left. We're gonna push some waves. Adjust the feet. Making sure the knees feel good. And then stepping into a long warrior two. Let's reverse breath in. This time half moon, you knew it was coming, those of you who are regular. <laughs> Float the right hand, left arm, left leg coming up. You could be quite high up in your floating half moon, or you could be a little lower down. Four, strong legs, expand for three. Calm breaths for two. And one, step back, warrior two. Get ready to reverse breath in. Side angle pose, top arm by the ear. Option one, breathe here. Option two, back foot further away. As a third option, you might choose to bind here. If you're new to the bind, eventually you slide the shoulder inside the knee and you take the arms around the back and around the thigh and eventually behind you, they'll catch. And I know you can't see that, but my hands are holding each other. If you're there, turn the chest. If you're not quite there, no worries. Strong legs. Three. Two. One. Push into your front foot. Warrior two. Strong legs coming back up. From here, high lunge. Opening your arms to the right just once. High lunge. Warrior two. Let's reverse. Breathe in. Reaching for the sun, coming back into center, get ready to stand up in the middle, cross the wrists, turn the heels in. Complicated sequence, and down we go. As you rise, wiggle the feet a little closer, and then from here, mountain pose, breathe in. Three or four breaths here. This tricky sequence is really helping you to focus the mind. So hopefully you can't think about too much else. That's the idea. <laughs> Let's release the hands. When you're ready, breathing in. And then hands come down, take them over to the right, bend the knees. Pushing waves, turn the feet. Back knee bends, front knee bends. Like you're the master of the ocean like Poseidon or a sea nymph. Take your pick. And stepping into warrior two. Check your front foot is pointing forwards and reverse. Here we go, floating half moon. Gliding into it slowly. If you're coming low, float the fingertips just above the ground. Otherwise, here with me for four. Back foot flexed, pushing the heel away, three. Two, heroic effort, one, warrior two, step back down. From here, reversing breath in. Side angle pose. Arm by the ear. Maybe you take the back foot a little further away. If you know the bind or you practice it, shoulder inside the knee, catching the hands around the thigh and the back. I'm going to stay here. Three. Two, really turn the chest, bend that front knee. One, warrior two, coming back up. High lunge, friends. Open the arms to the right. And come back to center, just because we forgot it last time. Option to breathe here, or right fingertips to the floor, into that lunging twist. Keep the fingers really light. I know it's tempting. But keep the fingers light, keep the legs strong. It's about your leg, not your wrist. Three, two, 
One, warrior two. Reverse as you breathe in. Reaching for the sun, carrying through center. Rise up, cross the wrist, take your time. Heels turn in a bit, one more. Fingertips trickle down like raindrops. Let's come to stand in mountain, deep inhale. Deep exhale through center. From here, forward fold. Feet as wide as your shoulders. And as you fold, really hinging from the hips. So you send the hips back, knees can bend. Fingertips maybe to the floor, even with the knees bent. If you're very bendy, start to straighten the legs. And you might even take hold of your big toes if you're very bendy, catching hold of them and lengthening the front of your body downwards. Doesn't matter how low you are, if you're feeling a stretch in the back of the leg, you're in the right place. Three. Two. One, slowly come up to stand. Palms together, mountain pose. Last time for the standing sequence, release the hands. Separate clouds, breathe in. Fingers coming down and over to your left. We're gonna push waves just once, turn the feet and push. Warrior two. Reverse. Half moon, extra challenge this time. Option to reach for the back foot and catch it in the hand. So left hand holds left foot into sugarcane pose. Floating version is really tough. It's optional, three. Stay strong, you've got it. Two, one, slowly step back, warrior two. Listen closely, new movement. As you breathe in reverse, straighten the front leg, pause. Lift your front toes, bend your back knee, touch the hands to the knee, side lunge. Reaching both hands for the sun, front foot comes down. Let's repeat. Front toes lift, bend the back knee, side lunge. One more time. This time as you come forwards, carry the sun into the center of the mat. Heels in, cross the wrists, up we come. Bend the knees. Release the hands. Mountain pose, deep inhale. Palms together, exhale. Second side, separate clouds. Hands come down, knees bend over to the right. Turn the feet, pushing waves. Step back, warrior two. When you're ready, reverse. Here she comes, half moon. <laughs> Fanfare. Wobble with me, maybe catch the top foot, sugar cane pose. If you have the foot, press it away and up, floating. Three. Two. One, warrior two, step back. From here as you reverse, pause, straighten the front leg. Front toes lift, touch the back knee, mindfully bend the knee, keep it feeling happy and reaching for the sun. And two more. This time as you find your warrior two, pause, reverse. And then we're going to carry the sun into the middle for the last time through center. Turn the feet in, rise slowly across the wrists, heels turn in, knees bend. As you rise, fingertips fall like rain, bring the feet closer. Mountain pose, breathing in. And bringing a sense of confidence, courage, and a calm determination to the heart. Maybe closing your eyes for a few breaths. See what you could release in the shoulders and the jaw. And reminding yourself that you've got through so many things right. I know that. 
and survived many things to get to this point. Trust in that as you move forwards and to find a little more self-trust and confidence. You've got this. Let's take a deep inhale, big exhale. As you release the hands, we're going to step the feet together now. Follow me. Shift the weight into your right foot. And can you lift the left knee up, arms coming out like the wings of a bird, and then cross the ankle over the knee. We're going to send the hips down and back. My fingers are dripping down. Arms are strong. If you're fighting for the balance, great. That's your muscles working hard. Three. Two, one, release, and let's elegantly change sides. The intention of elegance is enough, <laughs> even if it doesn't feel it just yet. All good things take time, hey? Three, hips back, ankle across the knee, the foot is hanging off the side of the knee. Two, one, slowly come into center. Once again, we're going to step the feet wider than the shoulders. You can go a little bit wider still this time. Turn your toes in just a little bit. Once again, folding forwards with the feet wide. Option with the hands on the hips or the floor or the ankles. Take two or three breaths here. Imagine your spine getting longer, breath getting deeper. And as you come back up, this time we're going to take the arms behind the back and hook the thumbs kind of like a bird. So the arms are going to come behind the back, hook the thumbs. And as you fold, you can straighten the arms up and overhead. You could even link the fingers if that feels available to you. A little bend in the knees can be really helpful. That's totally fine if you're doing that. There's a little tip. Bring your chin towards your chest so your neck feels more free. Two more breaths. One, slowly release. We're going to come all the way up to stand and step the feet back in. Hip distance apart, palms together. We're coming down for a squat, friends. Turn your heels in. Slowly lift the heels and lower down. Option one, rest the elbows on the knees. If you've got the space, you could drop the hips all the way to the ankles and bring the elbows inside the knees. Let's hold for three. Palms towards the chest for two. And one. We're going to come all the way back up. And then from here, folding forwards, both legs straight or straight-ish. We're going to come down to sit now. So bend your knees and find a way to come down onto the mat, which works for you. And we're going to bring the soles of the feet together into cobbler's pose as we cool things down. You can draw the ankles in, hold the feet. Inhale, lift your chest and take your chest forward forwards as you fold. In the yoga postures, eventually what we're looking for is this beautiful balance between strength and steadiness and ease or lightness. So although the postures might require a certain presence and effort, we're also working to make them feel effortless. We have this beautiful balance between strength and grace, which develops the more that you practice. It's just a time and repetition thing. From here, we're going to slowly come up and take the legs wide. So you could take the legs into a wide V shape, just as wide as feels good. It doesn't have to be this wide. And then for a moment, if it feels okay, use your fingertips behind you to help sit tall. If you find yourself in this position, no problem, bend the knees, and with the knees bent, it's easier to sit tall. Either way, we're going to lean forwards in the middle. 
Option one, hands gently behind you. Option two, hands gently in front of you or holding the legs if that feels better. If you're very bendy, you can fold down. I'm gonna breathe about halfway. If you love little micro details, check your feet on clocked out. <laughs> the feet are flexed, so the toes are pointing to the sky and the legs feel a little active. You can slightly engage the legs, slightly squeeze the thigh muscles. Three, two, one. We're gonna come up now and bring the legs down one side of the mat. As you bend the knees, walk the feet in. And then can you hold behind the thighs very gently, almost not holding, feet together, knees together. Guess what's coming, it's boat pose. We're gonna lean back, float the feet. You can hold with the hands, but do it lightly or release the hands forwards. Squeeze the knees together, lift the chest. Three, shoulders down, two, one. Replace the feet to the ground. We're gonna curl down, take a moment at the bottom. Walk your feet in a little bit closer to your hips, coming into a low bridge. Curl the tailbone, lift the pelvis. Breathe here, five. Press through your heels, four. And I want you to see if your glutes are engaged. Give them a poke, give your bum a poke. If it feels beautiful, soft and relaxed, it shouldn't be, squeeze it, make it feel hard. Like you're squeezing a walnut. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. Slowly lower down through the spine. We're gonna rock back up into boat pose. As you rock up, see if you can keep your feet off the floor. Option one, gently hold. Option two, release the hands. Option three, with a slightly sadistic smile, the legs straighten. If you're with me, straighten the legs, lift the chest. Four, squeeze everything inwards. Three, two, beautiful effort. One, feet down, roll all the way back down onto the back. Walk the feet in close to the glutes. This time, bring your feet together so the ankles and feet are touching. Let the arms rest on the ground. And from here, lift up through the hips, curl the tailbone under, feet are together. And now, take your right knee and float it above the hip. Tuck the tailbone under, we're gonna lift up and down. Lower the hips to the ground, keep that right knee lifted. Push back up, five and down, four, that's it, really push through that left heel, three, strong, beautiful bottom, two, <laughs> breathe, one, hold, replace the foot, curl the tailbone under, shift sides, what a relief, lower down, and up we come, five, and down, Really squeeze and hold at the top, four. Pushing up through the heel, three. And two. Last one. Hold, replace the foot. Curl back down through the spine. We're gonna rock back up one final boat pose. Again, find an option that works for you. Holding for five. If you wanna go for the legs, go for it, four. Dig deep, three, you're stronger than you think you are, two. Rise above everything that's in your way, one. And lie down, stretch out. Oh. Beautiful effort. Give your legs a little swish and a rock. Let your arms rest behind you, you can bend the elbows. We're gonna walk the feet in slowly. Let's take a little swish of the knees side to side. A ah, few big breaths out through your mouth. Ah. 
And as you come back into center, gently hug the knees in towards the armpits. You could optionally take happy baby. You can very gently catch hold of the ankles or the feet. I mean, I'm only just resting my hands there. I'm not really using my wrists at all. You can take a rock. And then let's release as we move towards a final twist. Can you lift your hips and take them to the right, just a couple of inches, place them down. Bring both knees in towards the chest and then let's take the knees over to the left, twisting. You can take the arms out like wings and maybe even turning to look towards your right hand if it feels okay in your neck. I'm going to invite you to lengthen your breath out a little bit more now as it slows down. Can you imagine rooting down, relaxing, sinking into the ground as you exhale? feeling grounded and supported and held by the earth. I'm going to come back to center mindfully. Recenter your hips and then take them to the left a couple of inches. Knees come in and across. With the knees in closer to the chest, you usually get a deeper twist so have the knees a little closer if it feels good. And turning to look down the left arm. Follow your breath out. The key to relaxation and to feeling calmer is usually in the exhale. A slow, calm, deliberate breath out sends a signal to your brain, your body, your nervous system that it's okay, it's safe to relax, you can take a break. As you come back into center, let's take a moment to bring the hips back in. We'll take a final relaxation. Often, we close with Shavasana. But Shavasana is quite an open and exposed position, right? So if you really enjoy being on your side, option one in Shavasana, if that feels good to you. Or option two, maybe it feels comforting to you to come onto the side, maybe rest your head on your hands or on your arm. Maybe that feels more comforting and reassuring. I'm going to stay here. Wherever you choose to be to rest, let's take one last deep inhale together. And let it all go. You can follow the feeling of your breath like the waves of the tide in the ocean. Gentle ocean which clears and washes and refreshes the mind, the heart and the body. If you notice anywhere that feels a little tense or uncomfortable, see how you could take care of yourself. What could you adjust? What could you soften?
Let's start to deepen the breath again, my friend. You can wiggle fingers and toes. If you're lying on your back, you might roll to one side now. Join me. And then in a very simple way, let's uh, come on up. Let's just take a moment in a comfortable seated position, an easy cross leg position or kneeling. You can rest your hands in your lap or on your knees. Let's take a mini micro meditation. You can close your eyes. Bring your awareness into the muscles of your face, your forehead, your eyes. And see if anything could soften or release. Now glide your awareness down to your neck and shoulders. See if anything could soften or release even just a little bit. Inviting your chest to soften quietly, a calm and steady heart. Soften the belly, all the way down the legs to the toes, releasing. If it feels good to you, you might join the palms together in prayer as an option. And um, bowing the head to the heart, inviting the deep inner strength of the heart to come to the surface. It might not always feel strong, it might not always feel like we have the courage, but it's there deep down, I believe that. And even if you can't quite feel that at the moment, it's the invitation that it's a possibility. It's a possibility. And let's bow to Mother Earth, thanking the Earth for all which nourishes and sustains us. Peace, peace, peace. Oh. So, thank you, beautiful soul. Thanks for being here and practicing with me. Let me know how you found this flow. I love to refine things as we move forwards. More videos coming your way each month. Drop me a comment below. If you've not subscribed yet, why not? Please subscribe, it helps me out. And also I have that new Patreon channel with the link below if you wanna check it out and find more practices which are longer, 60 minute flows, etc. All my love, I shall see you next time. Thank you.